this thing on? Hi you guys, my name is Megan and I blog at welcometothezoo.ca. One of the things that we've been doing uh, at Welcome to the Zoo is uh, sponsoring a couple of families through helping our northern neighbor. So here in Canada, um, the farther north you go, the more remote things get. And in many um, communities in the north where, um, you know, it's probably super cold this time of year, um, it, it can be really hard to get groceries in, just regular everyday basic staples, the basic necessities, uh, at a reasonable price. So quite often um, there's no road going in, so things can't be trucked in, uh, they, can, they need to be flown in. So we're uh, sponsoring a family, uh, an elder and her grandson in Fort Ware, Quidaca, and uh, they are only accessible by airdrop, which is crazy. So every time I go into the post office, the, uh, the post officer man reminds me that, uh, that this is an airdrop, and am I sure that I really want to send this food all that way, because uh, it's going to be super expensive. And so of course I say yes. Because uh, the truth is, for us to be able to uh, buy the food here and ship it up north, it's actually a lot cheaper than if they were to buy it there. So, which is crazy, right? So we have uh, just started sponsoring a second family as well. This family lives in Bearskin Lake in Ontario, uh, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit closer to home. I don't know if it's going to be an airdrop. Hopefully not. But. Uh, but this family consists of a uh, mother and father and four kids that are on the young, younger side. And, uh, and so today I went out shopping to get the items that I'm going to send for our first package to them. So come on over, I'll, I'll uh, let you take a look and show you what I got. Okay, so we got quite a few goodies. Uh, and I'm going to pop the, um, the prices for most of these things up on the screen uh, in, uh, when I go to edit this. And uh, so that you have an idea of what... Um, the prices are, and then I'm not sure what the prices are up north, but uh, but it would be interesting to compare. So maybe if I get that information, I'll be able to compare it in a, in a future video. So let me show you what we got. First of all, we got a couple of cans of uh, soup, tomato soup. Hopefully the kids like that. I didn't actually ask about that. But um, but it was super cheap. It was uh, 44 cents a can at my store. And, uh, I mean, who doesn't love a good bowl of uh, hot tomato soup on a cold day in January? Uh, and then, of course, some crackers, just some saltines to go with it, uh, and some raspberry jam. So uh, one of the little girls in this family specifically asked for raspberry jam, so that's what we got. And surprise, surprise, it was on sale, so that's even better. We also got some peanut butter, which, um, which apparently the kids love, um, according to mum. But um, the other thing is, it's, it's a great source of protein, right? So it's not just something that kids love, but it's good for them, it's healthy for them, it's going to energize them for their day. Um, I got some honey shreddies. It was on sale too. Uh, I know there are a few other things that the kids want uh, as far as cereal goes, so I'll have to keep my eye out for that and ship it when I see it. Uh, a couple of boxes of KD because, you know, it's KD and we're Canadian, so you have to have it. Uh, there's a, a, a tube of Lay's over there because uh, that was on sale. And then some um, school snacks that can hopefully easily go in the kids' lunches for school. These are kind of cool, the, um, the uh, squeezable um, applesauce, basically. So I got uh, apple peach and then apple pear, and those as well were on sale. Pretty, pretty good discount, too. And some granola bars, which are great for you know, either, kids, um, either kids' lunches for school or for mom and dad for work if they're going out to work. Um, and then these great mixes are um, perfect. I love these. Uh, I got these at Giant Tiger actually. Everything else is from No Frills, but these are from Giant Tiger. And last week they were 77 cents each. So, and all you have to do is add water. So each package makes, um, I think it makes six um, regular size muffins. Uh, but I always make mini muffins because then they seem to go further. So then they make about 12 mini muffins. And I'll, since all you need is water, it's like a super um, easy way to uh, make something nice and fresh and hot from the oven without using up your eggs or, you know, oil or anything else um, to, that you would have to put in it. So, and then we found some Nesquik on sale uh, as well because I guess the kids love uh, chocolate milk. So hopefully that'll tide them over for a little bit. We got some yeast. Um, and uh, some sugar over there, some brown sugar uh, for baking because mom loves to bake. 
and uh, and I'm sure the kids love eating mom's baking too. So and there's a couple of boxes of um, of Jello powder. Um, they specifically asked for some toothbrushes and toothpaste. Uh, so I got uh, a bulk package of four toothbrushes and then two separate ones. Um, and because I'm crazy like that, I tried to get all different colors and styles so that they can tell them apart, which is ridiculous, I know. But um, uh, so then there's kids' toothpaste and adults' toothpaste. I didn't ask what, what brand they prefer, but you know what? These ones were on sale, so I grabbed them. The kids also specifically asked for Mr. Noodles, which, as you know, if you live anywhere near I, where I do in southern Ontario, these are super, super cheap. Actually, they're probably even cheaper in the States. But, um, but I mean, they're, if the kids wanted them and they're so cheap, why not? So I got a, a bunch of those. And then as well, I got some pasta because Mom asked for some spaghetti. She also asked for some macaroni. Unfortunately, the macaroni was gone from the shelves. I don't know. Apparently, people had a special need for macaroni this week. But uh, so instead I got a few silly. So hopefully that'll that'll tide them over till the next shipment. So there you go. I'll uh, have the uh, prices on the screen so you can see. But this is uh, just about sixty dollars worth of groceries um, right here, all told. Uh, so the things that were a little bit more expensive, the yeast, um, the toothbrushes and toothpaste, um, those things uh, probably right there cost about. 12 or 15 dollars altogether so everything else really you're looking at about 35 dollars worth of groceries uh, if my math is correct so that's that's not bad that's what we can get here in where I live in southern Ontario um, and I'm sure it would cost a ton more up north in Bearskin Lake so if you're interested at all in helping with our um, sponsorship of our two families, our one family in Fort Worth, Quidaca, and our second family in Bearskin Lake, uh, I would love to invite you to check out um, welcometothezoo.ca um, and click on um, feeding, Feed the Hungry. There you'll find uh, there's the ability to donate money, which many of my readers have done, which is awesome. That's great. Uh, and as well, if you click on shop, you'll find uh, some handmade ruffle scarves that are really pretty. Um, all of the proceeds from that go to um, shipping food to our sponsored families. So here's the thing. Even though this cost about $35, uh, not including the yeast and the toothbrushes, um, What's really going to cost is packing it all up in those cardboard boxes over there and actually shipping it up north. So it'll probably cost about $100 to get this up there. So if, uh, if you have the ability and, and you feel led to, please, by all means, uh, donate a little bit. You can do that by clicking the PayPal button on the welcometothezoo.ca website or uh, by shopping and, and buying one of our um, uh, ruffle scarves, uh, maybe for yourself or somebody else in your life. Who, uh, who could use a little bit of, war of warmth in this cold January. Uh, so please, yeah, feel free to do that. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, are you, have you heard about the high prices up north? And, and have you heard of other people's initiatives and what they're doing to help uh, our northern neighbors? If so, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, until next time. Bye-bye.